Hey, imagine that, everybody. <laughs> Welcome back. We're just talking about candy here. I'm holding a, a vial of something that uh, does it taste vile? That's it's, the real question. It's, it's a very tart candy. It's really popular with the kids. <laughs> and we're going to use that okay. as part of this experiment. Carl Nelson, everybody, with the Imagination Station. This is really cool. Something you can do and you probably should try in your kitchen at home. Okay. We're going to make an acid base indicator. Let's do it. Okay, it's really easy. All you need is a head of red cabbage. Got it. Uh, the red cabbage has an indicator in it already that will change color in the presence of an acid or a base. Now, we're not going to use the whole head. That's right. going to be kind of confusing. So I chopped up a little bit earlier, and the, the way you do this is really easy. You buy a head of red cabbage, you chop it up, or you blend it. <laughs> blend it for a few seconds, and then we're going to strain it. All right, so we got uh, really <laughs> nice liquid here, purpley sort of color. This is our concentrated acid base indicator, okay? okay? And what we're gonna do, I'm gonna, we'll get real scientific here, we're gonna pour it in these little portion cups. I'm gonna have you add one portion cup to each of our big beakers up front, okay? Gotcha. you want me to do that right now? Do it right now, All okay. right. I'll take, I'll there help you out as well. Go. Pour it in and Purple. stir it up a little bit. That nice blue color. Now this is what water looks like, it's pH neutral, all right? And we're gonna try to add something in that most people know is an acid, which is? Lemon, lemon juice. Go ahead and squeeze that That's into this uh, beaker why you right there. Pucker when you squeeze right? a little bit in. Yes, it is. That That's good? pretty good. Okay. No, oh, uh, whoa, 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 I messed there. it up. You're oh, getting man. all crazy oh, on me here. Sorry, Slow down I there. That one but up. oh, that's okay. Now check that out. Normally, if it's pH neutral, it's blue. If you have an acid, it starts to turn into more of a purplish color. Gotcha. And since you've, you've led us down this path, let's just go right with the <laughs> super concentrated, okay. uh, very acidic candy that is very popular with kids these days. Go ahead and give a mouthful of that right gonna, inside I might, there. I might take a little. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's, oh, oh God. Oh, yeah. that, that, <laughs> Kids eat this? Yeah, they do, they me? do. Oh, Go ahead and add it to the solution there. Let's see what happens. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> and the reason why it has that flavor <laughs> is that it is a very, very strong acid. In mm -hmm. fact, it is strong enough to dissolve the enamel off your teeth. Oh, good. It's actually a problem in dentistry. Okay, so neutral, <laughs> a little bit more acid, super acidity. What about an egg? What, what do you think? What about an egg? I have no idea. Acid or base? What do you Which think? Which came first, acid or base? <laughs> <laughs> they both came at the same time. Well, it turns out that an egg is a little alkaline. It's a little base. Yeah. You may even want to, I don't know if you want to taste a little of that to get that. that one. <laughs> <laughs> now, I have some lye here, which is a very, very strong alkaline. And okay. if we add this and stir it up. That's what you use in your, your restrooms and your, you know. Yeah, and like laundry. Scrub, yeah. That your laundry detergent and whatnot has a little bit of lye in it. And, um, you can see, just by mixing different compounds from your kitchen or from your home, you can actually tell if it's an acid or a base, Run just by the color change. Spectrum, how about that? It's really cool, it's really safe, easy to do. Get some cabbage, chop it up, boil it up, make some solutions. How do you come up with this? How do you say, let's blend up some cabbage and do an acid I can't test? reveal, <laughs> I can't reveal my secrets. <laughs> All right, well, Carl Nelson, everybody, his secret is safe with us. You can go down to the Imagination Station and uh, Sid the Science Kid, I don't think he's still there, is he, he still is there? He is there, he's oh, here okay, all there weekend. You go. Excellent, all right. Today well, and tomorrow. As I said, he's a rock star in our house. And we're open on Martin Luther King Day and um, it's Little Scientist Week, so we have lots of great activities for preschoolers and kindergarten kids running out through this weekend as well. There you go. I wouldn't recommend giving preschoolers any <laughs> of this know, stuff. I don't know why you tasted that. Liquid, well, I, I'm <laughs> curious. <laughs> Curiosity, we know what it did to the cat, so there you go. All right, thanks very much for joining sure. us. And we'll be back here next Saturday with another Imagine It segment. Right now we're going to go over to Dave Holmes with sports.